in the last video, I ended off talking a little bit about how what my parents taught me and how uh, I also talked a little bit about how my dad didn't, didn't like drinking. He never drank really um, hardly. I never really, yeah, I've never seen him pick up a drink because of the lifestyle that he grew up with. Um, how my grandparents were majors to the Salvation Army. They were pastors and they didn't believe in drinking. So he didn't believe in drinking, and same goes for uh, one of my uncles. Um, it's just, it, I, I get it, I understand, um, and I know for me, when I get older and, and have kids of my own, that I'm going to make sure that they know what's right and what is wrong, and, and you know, obviously you got to, they got to do what they got to do, so they know, um, hopefully they learn that if they do get drunk, not to do it again, um, but if I can, if I can use what I've gone through and help them in a sense, maybe, you know, um, they won't get sick, you know what I mean, maybe they'll be just like me, where, you know, two, three drinks, I'll be fine, um, or done, or whatever, but obviously they got to drink at the legal limit, you know what I mean, so I'm not going to be an idiot and do that, but, um, What I'm trying to say here is that, see, for two years, no, I would say a year and a half, the year before my dad passed away, we, uh, I, I went to him one day um, because I felt just kind of like, you know, that we were kind of drifting away. Me and him had a very strong bond that we would always hang out, we would talk, we would throw the football, we would throw baseball, we would just, you know, do father-son things. We would go to baseball games. We'll go have a uh, a coke or something. Um, we, you know, um, ride in the car or whatever. We would talk. We would go to church. That was the me and him would do um, church every week. Um, just him and I, because I mean, my mom would too here and there, uh, but there was times, most of the time, me and my dad would go by ourselves, and uh, you know, we'd have we'd have friendly conversations about things and in life and. Um, uh, perspective on uh, on how we think things are, things are, and um, and so because I I felt like me and him were drifting that that we were falling apart that we weren't really being father son anymore we were just you know a lot of the time he would come home from work and you know he would tell me something or what to do or to, you know to, to do the trash or clean up or whatever and you know. I felt like it was just, you know, it wasn't a, a father-son type thing, you know, where, hey, I, I hope your day was good. Yes, he would. You know, I'm not saying that he never did that, but he, he would. Um, but more it would be coming home from a long day and then him coming and telling me how to do something or what to do. And I just get kind of offended like that because it's not like, hey, you know, hey, son, how you doing? How was your day? Or, or whatever. He would just be like, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. So I, you know, I got a little upset with him here and there and, you know, we talked about it, but I went to him and I said, dad, uh, what do you think about doing a Bible study, a weekly Bible study, uh, just you and I? And, uh, he actually got us a devotional book from his work. Um, and sorry, I'm getting a little, a little emotional. I, I miss my dad. Um, we went within this book, this devotional book, where you'd have stories from Bible. Um, you would um, write your own thoughts on it, um, kind of comment, uh, not commentate on it, but kind of write your own little thing, uh, uh, your own interpretation of it. Um, and then him and I would talk about it, and then we would end up by uh, praying. Um, and then afterwards, we would just talk about stuff that, that was going on. I would talk to him a little bit about, you know, the plans and, and me moving out here to Cali. And, um, and you know, he was very hesitant at first because my sister, she, um, she was living in the house and, you know, met her boyfriend and um, up and moved with him to, to Colorado. With, I mean, she was already living on her own, um, but... Um, the fact that, uh, she didn't really talk to my dad and, and mom about it was, was a little rough on my dad. And, uh, 
And so, you know, talking to him about me, possibility of me moving because of Melissa, of, 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 of her, um, you know, over time, he just, he got used to the idea and, you know, eventually I have to do, let you go and whatever. And, but anyways, um, he saw the good in me. Um, he saw the good in everyone and, and he brought out the good in everyone. Um, he, he, um, he was dealing with Crohn's for the the bitter part of his last few years. Um, and you know, some other things too. And, uh, he rarely complained. Um, and if he did, he'd do it to himself. Um, by himself thinking no one was listening and occasionally I would hear him say stuff to him and you know himself and um it was hard um because I couldn't do anything you know um but anyways you see the good in people because it goes through you um it, it, it you know and, and what I mean by this is that my dad was my role model. He still is my role model. And I know I'm not going to live up to how he was. I got to be me. But with everything that he's taught me, I'm going to apply it to the to my life because everything that he taught me is something he learned over time. And no matter how much evil there is, you choose how to live. You know what I mean? You choose what is right. I mean, you choose, you know, like, you, you choose how things are going to play out. You know what I mean? You make, that. that's the that's the thing that God gave us was free will, like I've talked about in the last video. He gave us the, uh, the freedom to choose how we were going to live, how we were going to do things. Um, it's not his fault that we choose to do stupid stuff. It's us. And then... You know, when we do that stupid stuff, we tend to blame him and say, oh, it's all your fault. Or why do you take this person away from me? Or or blah, 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 blah. That's not it. God loves us. God, uh, the things that, that go on in this world is because of the people. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, uh, sorry. I gotta take a swig here. Or a, a, a little uh, a swig. What the hell? Uh, I'm gonna take a drink here. Of my dude. Don't worry, I'm not doing any, like, advertisement here. Although that would be cool. Uh, Mountain Dew sponsoring me. Um, please don't spill. Okay, so I have a quote here. That I came up with. Uh, and you can use it if you'd like. You can share it with people. Um, as long as you give me credit, please. Uh, and then I got another one. And then I, I have a Bible verse that I want to leave off with. And then maybe talk a little bit more about this. Um, so here's my quote. We the people make the world what it is. We choose how we want to be. It's by your actions on what defines you. And if, if you want, guys, I will, uh, I will actually put that in my comments below. So you can take that down. Um, copy it or whatever and share it um, because it, 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 there's so much truth to that um, and then here's this other uh, one uh, God did not God did not create evil just as darkness is the absence of light evil is the absence of God um Like I said, God, God didn't create evil, all right? Um, people choose to be evil. People choose how they want things to play out. Something could be going wrong, and wrong in their life, and they choose to harm somebody. That's evil. When they deliberately choose to do that, like if my life depended on it, absolutely, I would defend myself. If my girlfriend was in harm's way. I would definitely jump in front of her and, and take the bullet uh, or, or the knife or whatever w what was going on. I love my girlfriend and she know, she doesn't like me I, I, when I say that because I've said it to her before. 
she gets a little uh, scared on that, and, and she told me, you know, I, that's not going to happen, I don't want that to happen, blah, 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 and that's just it, that's just the way I am, I'm, I'm not, I'd rather me go than her, you know, or if it came down to protecting her family, I would take the bullet in a heartbeat, um, my family as well, I mean, it's just, it's just the uh, uh, moral of being good, you take the bullet for anyone, you know what I mean? Think about your soldiers out there. You know, they're out there fighting all the time. They're out there dying all the time. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be abrupt there, but it happens. They, they go into a different part of the world knowing that they're going to be heading into harm's way. They do it deliberately because they know that we need saving. You know what I mean? Um, and then you have gangs out there that run the streets and, and sell drugs and... And uh, they choose to do that, you know, and obviously they pay the price when they're caught. Um, but you, who's watching this video, I may not know you personally, but I know you can be good. You can be better. I'm going to say this too. I have another quote that I've come up with. Um, every day that you wake up is a new opportunity to be better than you were the day before. Boom! Take that. All right. I'll share that one too. Um, and you guys just, I'll, you know, obviously please give me credit when you share, um, and tell people to check out my videos. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, What I mean by that is that maybe like today, all right, you made a mistake and you know you did. Come tomorrow, you say, if I wake up, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be defined by my bad actions. I'm going to be defined by how good I am and, and what, I, what, I, what I give to the world, what I give to the people that I love. You know what I mean? All the things that I did wrong when I grew up, I don't do. Smoking, drinking, uh, I, I don't objectify women anymore. Um, I love my girlfriend to death. I seriously, yes, I was so attracted to her when I first met her. Um, and I still am, every day. Uh, but it's what's on the inside too, that... Uh, that makes me very happy and, and a lucky guy. Um, so, anyways. You choose how you want to live. I gave you some examples. And, and, and hopefully giving you better perspective. On what's good and what's, what's bad. Um, and the things that we do that separates us from good versus bad, um, seriously, like, it's not hard, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the next video. I'm going to upload this video and another vlog will, or another part will be coming up to this vlog. So I do apologize, guys. Thank you so much for being patient with me.